Hi everyone in YouTube. I have been asked to help with Vaidon software and how to set up your programs in order to work with AMD Fluid Motion Frames. Let me answer this question in this video. But first, don't forget to comment any doubts or suggestions you, that you may have. And please help this channel give it a thumb up if you like the video. With no further delay, we begin the tutorial. First, you have to search for IAMD Adrenaline in your desktop with the right click or searching for it in the search bar within Windows and typing AMD Adrenaline. Next, you have to open the program. If this is the first time that the program opens, and the first screen you will have is this one that says something about picking a pre-configured profile. I recommend clicking in Omit and follow the same steps I'll be giving to you right now. Once you have managed to see the main screen, you have to click in the tab named Games. Then you will see a tab, a sub-tab named Graphics. And you must search for AMD Fluid Motion Frames and enable it. It will enable at the same time Radeon Anti-Lag. This is for reducing the input lag from the generator frame. Now you go back to the tab games. As you can see, you won't be able to find any emulators by default in the tab. You must add them manually. I'll show you how to do it for three emulators. The first emulator I'll show you how to set up is PCX2. You will have to find the boot folder that contains the emulator and copy it with Ctrl C. You will search for the .xc name pcx2. Dot, uh, slash qt. Dot exe. Make sure that it's there. Then you will go to Radeon Adrenaline Software and click for the three dots in the upper right corner for the driver. Click in Add Games. A, a window will open. In that window, you paste the folder duration you just copied and press Enter. Then search for the .xc named pcx2qt.xe and double click on it. Now you will have the emulator within the driver so it can be enable AMD fluid motion frames to it. We click on it to look at the configuration. You, you will be able to see that fluid motion frames and radon anti-lag are both on. However, I will disable fluid motion frames in this part of the video in order to make sure my program doesn't crash with it enabled. Now we proceed to open the emulator within the driver. I select a game name Tekken 5. We will be able to see that it's running at 60 FPS. The overlay that shows the FPS in the left of the screen is from a program named MSI Afterburner. This OSD won't be able to pick up the generated frames, so it will only display the native FPS from our emulator. I close it and show you how to enable the OSD within the driver. We go back to our Radeon Adrenaline software, then click in the tab named Performance. We search for Overlay and enable Activate Matrix Overlay. You will be able to see the overlay with a few parameters. After this, we go back to the Tracking tab and we proceed to configure the way we like our overlay. I recommend to only get frame per second enabled. 
graphics API in order to see if we are running at DirectX 11 or 12 or maybe Vulkan. We also activate frame gen delay. All other parameters, I'll make sure to turn them off. Then I'll go back to overlay and set it to be in the left. I close my MSI after border to make sure that it doesn't show in the emulator again. Now you will be able to see that we are running at DirectX 12. This emulator supports uh, Vulkan, but I stick with DX12 because of testing purposes. I'll start the game again and you will be able to see the OSD with FPS, the API, etc. on it. Now, in order to enable AMD Fluid Motion Frames, we must use the game in full screen mode. So, we press our shortcut to make it full screen, and there you will be able to see Fluid Motion Frames is working. You will see 120 FPS, the OLD from the driver. This, this only is shown in the driver. As you can see, the process is pretty easy to do, but all the simulators have a different path or way to configure because of how each emulator graphic settings work are different to each other. Now that we have finished the configuration for PCXX2, we close this simulator and open C emulator for the Nintendo 3DS. The first thing to do with Citra is to open the game so we can use our trusty task manager to search for which is the exact Citra path and also which executable is the right one. We open Cell Ocarina of Time 2DS in this case. We wait for a bit and then we pause the game and open Task Manager. There we are able to see an instance of Citra. We must right click to it and select open file location. This step is similar to the one with the PCXS2. We must copy the root of the folder and make sure that we are using the Cita QT.exe. We open the Radeon Adrenaline software, open the game tab. Click the three dots, add a game, and then we proceed to paste the folder location and select citra-qt.exe. Double click it and we are ready for the next step. We minimize the driver and we go back to the Citra emulator and proceed to close it. In order for the driver to pick it up from the start and make sure the fluid motion frames can recognize the Vulkan API. Now the Vulkan API has been recognized, we can open our game again and we'll be able to see the fluid motion frame is enabled and working perfectly. This game natively runs at 30 FPS. However, the emulator window runs at 60 FPS. That 120 FPS you see there must be divided by 2 in order to get the real quotes frames. Remember, these real quotes frames are interpolated, they are added within the driver. Now we close this emulator and proceed with the last one today. That is Yusu, an emulator for the Nintendo Switch. We open Yusu, we wait if it has something to update, and then we proceed to open 
the legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Then we wait another bit. And as it, as it is running, we go to the test manager and search for the instance of use. We right click to it and then we do the file location. Uh, we make sure to copy the same path as the other process. We must search for the usu.exe file there. We will close usu and open radio and adrenaline software. We again go to the games tab. Again, we add the game as explained before. Now we open usu. I'll activate a 60 FPS patch for it. Quote, I forgot to record this segment in the old video, but I added it here. In the emulation tab, you must go to configure, then you go to graphics, and inside that, you make sure that full screen mode has exclusive full screen selected. Because if it isn't, fluid motion frames won't work, at least from my testings. Once you finish, we close the window and we can proceed to open our game. We managed to do it. As you can see, fluid motion frames is now enabled. And now we can play with the team with up to 120 FPS in use. I really hope this video was helpful for you. And I hope you have learned a lot from this video about how to add your emulators to radio adrenaline software and make them compatible with AMD fluid motion frames. Remember, fluid motion frames is only compatible right now with Vulkan, DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. If you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comments. I will reply as soon as possible. And that's all. I hope you have a great day or a great night every time. See you soon.